Hello, welcome to another video. A little bit different this one. For those of you that know, I'm doing a van build at the moment. I'm doing up my camper van. And I got a message from the seat surgeons in York and they are three minutes away from the workshop where I'm working on the van. They said, we watch your stuff. We'd love to uh, gift you some seats if you'd be interested in working with us. So I said, yes. That would be amazing. I looked at some of their stuff and thought that looks pretty cool. The quality of some of the so shots in this first one isn't that good. I think the cameraman must have like breathed on the on the lens or something. But uh, it does get better. So without further ado, let's uh, let's go see the seat surgeons. Hello, welcome to another video. I'm here at the seat surgeons in York, which is literally a couple of minutes away from the workshop where we've been working on the van. Let's go inside. <laughs> Watch it have one of them. <laughs> <laughs> it explodes into tea. Stop swearing. Right. Are you filming? No. No. Why? <laughs> Are you filming? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the seat surgeons in your. <laughs> As you can see, they specialise in seats. <laughs> Well, now I'll wait. We're waiting for the Luke who runs it, runs the show, and Glenn. And um, we're going to just run through different coloured leathers and different techniques and styles for the front seats. Oh, what's that? Who is it? Big Tice. It's the Gypsy King. Oi, oi. Is he an outside tea set? Big lad. Got quite a few different options. Got smooth leather. And, uh, Why are you well. filming the cups of tea, Nick? Um, <laughs> should be over here. This is where the real action is happening, though. I put the paper clip with some leather on it. <laughs> so these are the colours, and these are the sort of styles and options that we've got to work with, is it? Yeah, exactly. So this is for the. And this is Luke. Nice to meet you. By the way, from <laughs> LC Surgeons. The, um, yeah, talk us through it a little bit. So for the transporter and for transit custom and crafter. The sport foams are put onto the original frames, so it's not a physical seat. Can I sit on that? Of course you can. Do it's not me? like, because we were just saying, you know, them videos where the airbag's underneath and it and it pops up. Uh, we'll take your seats out, put the new foams on, re-trim it all, and you'll leave that same day. Nice new leather. Perfect. And these guys are literally three minutes away from the workshop where I've been working on my van, from York, where I'm from, so it's kind of perfect. Um, we're just going to have a little look around the factory, show you from, like, Inception to finished thing, isn't That's it? And we're gonna have a little look. From cow high to sports seat. Cow high to sports seat. The name of my new album. Yeah. This is where the magic happens. Seats. Take a seat. Yeah. Not literally. The bare bones. So that's of the new project. It's the uh, ID buzz. What's an ID buzz? We've just done this before, but the radio was on, so we didn't want to get. <laughs> What's an ID buzz? The ID buzz is an electric vehicle that everyone seems to hate. <laughs> An electric van? Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's the new Volkswagen electric vehicle. So this machine is called uh, Tajima Pax, and this is the machine which embroiders, perforates, and stitches. Is that what you were saying out there that can do all the yeah. bells and whistles? <laughs> exactly, yeah, that's it's it. It's what I made earlier. Here's, Here's what I made earlier. <laughs> Blue Peter, what's your name? Laura. This is Hello. Laura, who uh, made one earlier, <laughs> as you can see. That's quite nifty. And would you be able to make like some sort of suit out of that, you think, that I could wear, or clothing? <laughs> That's Laura's uh, department. Oh, kind yeah, yeah. of. Yeah, yeah, well, we've got this one where you can have like a tabard. A yeah. tabard? <laughs> <laughs> we've uh, <we> digress. <laughs> How much would one of these set me back if I wanted to, to get one? Let's not talk about money here, mate. Wow! <laughs> Big boy shit. Let's not talk about money. Okay. I like it. That means a lot. I've Googled it and I'll put it on screen now. Thumbnail. <laughs> My word. My nan used to work in the Burberry factory in Whitby and there would just be like lines and lines of old deers just on sewing machines, winding sewing machines on. How far we've come. George. This is George. Hi George. This is a monster of a thing. Just explain to us what this does then, please Luke. So this is a cutting system that the hides get laid out of. 
George will take his time on not marking them out, so any scars, any impurities. And then once they've been marked out, the camera that's attached up there um, <laughs> takes a picture of the hide and makes sure that all the parts are cut for, for the covers. And these are all your templates? So that's the, to be honest, that's the old school way, so we still do that, but then what we do is we digitise them, which gets put on the machine, and then that's what tells the camera and the system what to cut. Right, so that's what will be happening with my seats? That is indeed, yeah. What so every, everything we cut here gets done on this Gerber. We have to digitise everything and then get it cut on here. The lengths they go through, so it's a lot more in-depth than you think. There's a lot more technology involved than I thought initially. Um, and here's some of the levers, though. We have had some crazy stuff in recently. Tiffany blue is becoming quite a popular Tiffany one. Tiffany blue, can you imagine? You can see that in your van. Oh no. <laughs> It'd be quite nice. That man, <laughs> strops, just for stropping knives. That's good. So we've got to decide what colour I want my seats. Because of all these options, and I'm riddled with ADHD, so I struggle <laughs> with cementing my decisions. So we're going to have to have a bit of a head scratch and decide what colours and what style that I want the seats. This is more like what I expected it to be when I came in, of just like loads of like old women just sewing. Not, you're not the old woman, obviously. <laughs> we've, 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 got one, we've got one left. <laughs> this guy just runs all these sewing machines. One guy, all these sewing machines. Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> Making it up for content to make it more interesting. <laughs> so instead of having the old school templates and that, it's just all done up here. Yes. Then it's sent to our man down there on his big snooker table thing, and then he cuts it down there. Yeah, and the files are Linking all, the pieces. It's all pre-programmed, so the cutter knows what to do. He just has to basically press play. That's so much reliant on technology, isn't it? Yeah. But then I guess you're not going to get it wrong, are you? It's all to the mill. No, well, it means it's the same every single time. So do you ever mess up? Um, do you ever yeah, like, oh yeah, shit, I've, do, I've goofed, and then it... Well, it, on a new project, we will always have a trial run. Right. So you do tend to find in the patterning stage or the digitising stage, we could sometimes maybe miss a seam off where it should have a seam. Not ne never on sewing faces, but on like sort of like raw ends where yeah, they're yeah, not yeah. actually sewing to anything. Sometimes they require seams, sometimes they need to be hemmed. You know, so we will do the trial in uh, PU, not leather. And then when it's been sewn together and fitted, we'll get, you know, the complete picture. That's good. A trial run so you're not yeah. wasting your expensive materials. Yeah, so. well, I mean, leather's not cheap. It's not cheap. <laughs> so, it's not cheap. Um, for, you know, and it means we know then, going into the production side of it, that it will be correct. Yeah. But, uh, That's cool. That's just another little part of the... Another, another little link in the chain of how, how things get done. Interesting. Let's go. Some exclusive seat surgeons content. Oh, is it exclusive? We're not allowed to show this. <laughs> yeah. So. This is an exclusive. <laughs> I feel like Willy, you know, Willy Wonka when he gets that. Uh, he's not allowed to share that sweet. I'm sharing the sweet. And so, has that got a name? Do you call him like cool shit, like Darth Vader's backpack or whatever? Glenn, <laughs> Glenn, Glenn had the tendency to do that. Didn't he? Yeah. But I don't know. So I, I think Darth Vader's backpack is. Uh, yeah. It worked, I like it. But it took quite a lot of development to get to this stage. Because you've got the perforation, well, yeah, but it, the double stitching. It gets more complicated. So where, wherever there's an area where there's no stitch, it can it can bag. So so you get like you know lumps and bumps. So we had to develop a way of perforating it, then gluing the back of the leather to where you can't see the glue through the perforation holes. Right. So then the cloth sticks to the leather, but then you also have to glue the cloth to the foam behind it. So it's... it's There's it, a lot of work gone into that it then, It took eh? quite a while for mm. us to figure Was out. it worth it? Yeah, you I mean, think so. Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> So this is just for like little bit like little details and stuff. That's cool. Alphabeti spaghetti. <laughs> What's that for? Uh, ABT. This is for a uh, uh, V-dubs order right here. A ABT is a big um, manufacturer of uh, modified car parts. Right. Thing. 
So you do a lot of camper vans? Yes, yes. Because I was thinking, because a lot of people who watch this will be watching it because it is a van build. And you um, you do a lot of V-dubs, yeah. I imagine is the main. v dub is the major, and transit customs. So if you've got a van like mine, or if you've got a VW, then it's definitely worth checking out. I will leave a link below for all the good stuff. Look at these then. So, these aren't actually seats that you've done, these are just... So, th these are you, still your standard transit seats, and then these are just a cover which goes over the normal foam. Right. Um, these are great for people um, it, who are doing long mileage, uh, even motocross, stuff like that. Uh, very wipeable. And sturdy. Sturdy indeed, yeah. There's a, not, you can go bespoke on these, but we're normally we keep in stock. Um, black and in transit we've got this design with the black and grey yeah so if you want something less with you know something quick and simple and yeah. you're looking just to revamp your seats then this is a good option the, these are a DIY fit so oh and you can take them home and do it yourself if you're capable if you're feeling handy yeah <laughs> quality you've definitely got to film that yeah just him, isn't it? I forgot just I wrote an idiot. that. He's I an idiot. He does it himself and then pretends well, other did people do it. I did that. Yeah. <laughs> did you to Paul. To Paul, it's yours. Oh, that was the left that I knocked him out with. He, wanted to, he signed it. Don't worry about it. And there we go. So that was day one. You go there, you talk about what materials, what colours, what styles, uh, if you want any embroidery. So I did all that, went away, had a little head scratch. The guys at the seat surgeon did their magic. We went back a few days later to go see the final results. Regarde. Well, I'll be in touch again. I've come out of the flowers and stuff. Here, so... I didn't have that help. <laughs> Alrighty. Here's the kit. Look, this is the kit. Yeah, it's half the press. We just literally finished sewing it up, actually. So... That's ideal. This is exciting. So here's your bases. Look at that. Look at the colour. Go for like an outdoorsy colour that ain't going to show up mud and shit on it too much. And there's your custom logo. And then, sorry to everyone who thinks that this is garish, but there it is. I like it because it's subtle and it? it's not too garish. It's not yeah, like, yeah, it blends in nicely. It's not garish, all right, but it's a bit loose and that. It's a bit like when someone's been skinned or whatever. It needs to stretch out a little bit to see its full thing. But you get an idea of the shape of it, the colour, and if you look like the brown stitching from here is off into the black there. Just amazing. Yeah, it's got a few little sort of creases on it now, but once. We'll get it heated and get it on the seats. It should look pretty heated smart. Heated and seated, yeah. And then look, look at yeah. airbags, because it's all still... You obviously have to adhere to regulations of safety and stuff, don't you? Yeah, yeah. It's got all the sort of airbag stitching and everything, and we've had it all sort of tested up on the machine, so... Amazing. Yeah, you're all good to go. Look so. at all that. So is this what you get if you buy a pack like this? Do you get it in the... Absolutely, yeah. So they make the whole kit upstairs. We hand sew it. It's all done here in the building, and then... The lads in the workshop will get it all fitted up. That's what they're doing, heating and putting it on. And that's yeah. what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be heating this up, put it on the seats, and then actually get it into the camper van and have a look what it looks like when it's all finished. Yeah. So stay tuned. If you find any roaches or any like marijuana or anything <laughs> like that, that in, that's from a, uh, someone else and it's not me because <laughs> I don't smoke anymore. No, no, we're all the same. Yeah. But also, can I have them back if you do find them? <laughs> <laughs> How many people walking here with black hair? That is a lethal, isn't it? Yeah, that'll, that'll get you. That'll get Tyson Fury's mid-drift. Uh, is that Bant? <laughs> <coughs> I've got a chest infection. Does that anyone want to know about that? <laughs> Not well. What? Made in Yorkshire. I ain't got that. I ain't got it in me. I ain't got it. I ain't got it in me today, lads. This is Jason. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're just explaining, weren't you, about, um, well. about yeah, so how these seats are sort of designed and made. So, 
if uh, if a motorbike seat has a metal base, we can't do it because obviously we can't attach the uh, the leather cover underneath. But if it's if it's plastic, obviously we can, you know, use uh, staples and whatever. Yeah. Um, with something like this, the way we attach it on here is we use the original clips. So on your covers in there, you'll you'll probably notice it's not got the the clips on it at the minute. Right. That's because we need to use these original ones because we can't get anything. Um, that that sort of works as such so we have to use these original ones so what we do yeah, perfect for it aren't they? exactly that so we'll, we'll we'll take these off and sew it onto your onto onto your kit in there just watch it yeah that's it uh, it's connected to no it's not connected just, just watch this, that lip under there under it's a bit catching under these feet are a bit near. can you can you slide it towards me like this way a little bit we can't go under that up like, uh, You've got maybe three or four mil. You know, if you pick it up that side, Matt, triangle it over them. Just the uh, lift out so we can see what we're doing. Triangle. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Yeah, 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 you're, you're, you're there, yeah. Yeah? I think so, Jeff, yeah. Nice one. Finished. I said a few things that didn't go down too well, so they've sacked me off. Uh, they're not giving me seats back. So this is it. I've just got to sort of uh, deal with it. <laughs> Sit on batteries and that. <laughs> so you'll still have this? Yeah, you'll still have the use of the, uh, of the cup holders. I literally forgot I had this, if I'm honest. I just saw that tab and was like, because I've had my uh, things over the top of it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. So that'll come back into play. Yeah. So you can have to drink and drive. <laughs> that is a cool bit of kit, isn't it? The inner workings of it. I've transferred the heated pad over and everything as well, so the heated pad's come out. Wow, let's look at this heated pad then. This is the bare bones of a heated pad. So I think you want to see how it works. And, that'll just and it's very underwhelming. <laughs> it's <laughs> just that. It's literally just copper wire, I assume, yeah. or something coiled round. Yeah. And that's it, that's, heat, that's your heated seats. And you, very underwhelming. <laughs> it's just a little sheet with some wire on it. But, Works when you need it to. But in winter, especially when you're landscaping, you're freezing or whatever. These are a godsend. Good stuff. And they'll go back in. So if you do have heated seats and you're worried about not being able to keep the heated seats, worry no more because it all gets transferred over to your new fancy seats. Check your nuts. This will be on display when I'm in back at van as well, so it's a nicer thing to look at. And I've got options to put my slippers in here or whatever I want. Oh, looks well. That looks well. It's all coming together. Jobs are good, then. Uh, the finish you're putting them in, making sure all the electrics work, the diesel heater uh, eater works. And uh, shout out Dan, the DLH man. 
who apparently watched the videos. He didn't stop and say hello, mate, but I want to give you a big squeeze. But much love anyway. Thanks for the support. And all that was done in the space. We've been here for maybe two or three hours, that's it. So you can drop them off, go and do what you need to do, or stick around, have a cup of tea. <laughs> and then they get done, and look at this. Oh. It's just a different sitting experience. It's so comfortable. And I think it looks pretty cool as well. Two thumbs up. Yeah. yeah, good man. Cheers, mate. Yeah, anytime, man. Really Honestly, appreciate yeah. it. It's so good. It's been really fun to work with yeah. you guys. So. And yeah, they look mint. Yeah, yeah. Obviously yeah. buzzing with it. You're real happy, huh? Yeah, really happy, yeah. Done. And there it is. I know it's a bit garish having your own logo, but you know, it's what you do when you're landscaping. You have your own logo, so it's one of them. I'd just like to say a heartfelt thanks to the guys over at Seat Surgeons. They were so professional and lovely to work with and, and then being a local company, it was just brilliant. Brilliant to work with them and I recommend them fully. And thanks for hooking me up with these seats. They're comfy and they just feel good. And they give the van a classy overall look. So I'm, I'm over the moon. I'll leave a link below so you can go and have a look at their website, see what they do. They're an amazing company to work with, so I fully recommend them. And that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with a long distance multi-day hike video which will be starting in a couple of days. But until then, look after yourselves. Bye for now.